China denounces U.S. cyber theft charges China has denounced charges brought by the U.S. against five army officers accused of economic cyber espionage. Beijing said it had never engaged or participated in cyber theft, and that the charges would damage cooperation between the two countries. China summoned the U.S. ambassador to Beijing over the incident, the state news agency reports. U.S. prosecutors say the officers stole trade secrets and internal documents from five companies and a labor union. But the Chinese foreign ministry urged Washington to immediately correct its mistakes and withdraw the charges. The charges were purely ungrounded and with ulterior purpose. He said China had decided to suspend activities of the China-U.S. Cyber Working Group. The group was set up in April. Given the lack of sincerity on the part of the U.S., to solve issues related to cyber security through dialogue and cooperation, China has decided to suspend activities of the China-U.S. Cyber Working Group, Mr. Kin said. China has always insisted that it is itself a victim of cyber theft, wiretapping and surveillance activities by the U.S. Mr. Kin added, we once again strongly urge the U.S. side to make a clear explanation of what it has done and immediately stop such kind of activities. Chinese Assistant Foreign Minister Zhang Zhaiguang lodged a solemn representation with U.S. Ambassador Max Baucus on Monday night. The U.S. has charged five Chinese Army officers with hacking into private sector American companies in a bid for competitive advantage, in the first cyber espionage case of its kind. Attorney General Eric Holder said the alleged breaches were significant and demanded an aggressive response. U.S. prosecutors say the officers stole trade secrets and internal documents from five companies and a labor union. China denied the charges and warned the case would harm U.S.-China relations.